Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In uh, this uh, video clip, I will show you how to draw a normal QQ plot in SPSS and uh, how to use this plot to explore the data you have and to look at whether these data are normally distributed or not. So the normal QQ plot is a uh, stands where QQ plot stands for normal quantile plot. It plots the distribution of the data against the expected normal distribution. In another way, plot the expected value normally distributed, hypothetical, against your data, the observed data, the actual data or the values of these data. So expected values are straight diagonal line and the observed values are plotted as points. If, if the data are normally distributed, then the observed value fall exactly along the straight line. Any deviation of the dots from the line represent deviation from normality. So snake shaped dots wrapped around the diagonal line indicate deviation from normality. Dot drift consistently below or above the diagonal line indicate, indicate skewness. Dots that are as, uh, as S-shaped curve indicate kurtosis. Take, let, let, let's have a look at a few examples here. On the left-hand side here, we have a histogram that, uh, that have a data and these data are normally distributed with a bell-shaped curve. On the right-hand side, we, had, we have the plots, QQ plots, diagonal line, green diagonal line, and dots aligned uh, on that line. So that's indicate normality of the data. So by looking at the QQ plot, we can really uh, envisage that these data are normally distributed and falls on the line. However, in the histogram below, we do have two peaks here, so the data are not normally distributed and we can see on the QQ plot that the, not all the circles or the dots falls on the diagonal line. So these data are not normally distributed. Another example also, uh, here we have on the left hand side data that are clustered into the left so they are called positive skewed and on the bottom data clustered onto the right so they are called negative skew data so if we look at the qq plot you can see that all the dots or the circles all the observed value are above the line and in the one below all the observed values or dots or circles are below the line. So these are some examples are uh, of when the data are normally distributed or not and how does it look like on the QQ plot. If we move to the SPSS, here I have a file with three groups, a data in three groups label them as data one two and three and i want to look at the normal distribution of this data using the qq plot the way to do it i usually do it using two ways or two methods First, you click on analyze and then scroll to descriptive statistics we have here two options either to use the explore or to use the qq plot I'll click first, I'll show you how to do it through QQ plot and then how to show how to uh, see how to do it through explore. So if we click uh, at uh, QQ plots, a window will pop up going to look at we can look at all the three or we can look at one by one. So if I select the first one, the data one, 
and I'm not going to change anything here and just click on OK. SPSS will generate an output giving you the number of the cases and so on. And then it will generate a QQ plot. And if we look at the QQ plot here, we can see the diagonal line, which is the expected value or data and the circles, the black circles or dots are all nearly aligned on the diagonal diagonal line. So this indicates that the, these data are normally distributed. And so we can go back again and do the rest for the other uh, va uh, variables or data if we wish to do so. The other way, the other myth way I use it uh, and I uh, usually use it is to go through analyze and then click on descriptive, scroll down to explore and then here a window will pop up and I'm going to look at here again the dependent list, move the data one, I can move two and three, but I will look at data one. And if I click in statistics, I'll keep the descriptive, uh, the value as it is. On the plot, I'll click on that. I'm not going to look at stem, I'm not histogram here. And, uh, but I'm going to click in uh, 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 an icon here click on and tick on the normality plot with tests and it will give you blocks here pl box plots which is uh, not of our uh, not an interest to to us i will explain it later on in another video if we click on continue and then if we want to uh, click on options we'll keep the same box as a as it is and then if we hit the button for okay again uh, SPSS will generate another output, but this will give you more details. It will describe, the, give you details for the means, median, variance, and so on, on and on. And it will also generate a QQ plot. And again, the QQ plot show, showing here uh, that these data are falls or fall along the diagonal line. So these data are normally distributed. So and now by this, I had shown you two ways to do to draw the QQ plot either to go through analyze and then click on descriptive QQ plot or through explore hope this video is useful thank you for listening